now I get rid of this notepad for a brief time and bring in this notepad. It's yellow. And it's got my season predictions for LSU football. If you want to take a freeze frame, you can zoom in and see if you can see what the record is there. Our official predictions for what LSU will do this year. We've stood here. We've talked a lot about what we expect, what we're hoping to see, things of that nature. Now, I'm holding a pencil, but we're putting pen in with our official predictions. I'm going on the spot, on the record, with what I think will happen this year. And hopefully, when we come back a couple months from now, this is looking pretty good. So this is what we got. Obviously, it's 12-game regular season. I'm going to go game by game, give you my thoughts, and eventually, W or L. Start out with Florida State. The opener coming up pretty soon. A couple days away down in Orlando. Game that LSU lost last year in, when it was in Louisiana. Probably could have won that game. 24-23, block PAT. FSU walks off and wins it. The Tigers are 2-8 and eight all time against the Seminoles. It's not a good record. I don't really care about stuff like that, though, because most of these games happened a long, long time ago before I was even born. So I don't care about that. What I care about is your present team this year versus the other team you're playing. Who's got the personnel edge? Who's got more strengths than weaknesses? And I swear, this was a W before the news broke yesterday about Mason Smith. I Clearly, there's an erase in there. And my producers will tell you that I have been sitting up here erasing and writing things in. This was a W. No longer a W. I think LSU loses the first game against Florida State. You needed to be at full strength to win this game. You're not. You don't have Mason Smith. Florida State's got a very explosive offense. There's just less question marks with FSU than there is right now with LSU, in my opinion. I know what I'm getting from Florida State. I've seen them play. They ended the season so well last year, just ripping off W, W, W. Didn't matter who they were playing. They were scoring a lot of points on you, and they were winning football games. I think they parlay that momentum into this year, and Florida State wins the opener against LSU. Should be a good game, but I think the Knowles take that one and a tight one. Moving on, Grambling, W. Kind of like the Bayou Classic in a different sense. LSU and Grambling, that's, that's a win. No disrespect, I'm just talking W's and L's. Next up, on the road at Mississippi State. A team that's in a bit of fluctuation right now. Mike Leach, rest his soul, no longer coaching there. So they've got a coaching change. They're still running that air raid offense from what I understand and they have their uh, defense still in place the 3-3-5 Zach Arnett's the new head coach they've got a lot of returning production but I just don't think that that offense is going to perform as efficiently as it did under Leach because Mike Leach was the architect of that offense he was Mr. Offense Arnett's a defensive guy I just don't trust that Mississippi State will produce the same way offensively that they have in the past. So that's a win on the road. Not to mention LSU's 13-2 historically at Mississippi State. So that's a good record. Now we get into the defining stretch of the season. I talked about this last episode. Check it out if you missed it. The four games that will tell the tale of how good this team will be. It's Arkansas at Ole Miss at Missouri, Auburn at home, playing the Tigers off a of bye. I think you win the Arkansas game. It's going to be ugly, just like it was last year, 13-10. I think it's the other way around this year. I think there's more offense and not much defense because the Razorbacks got a great offense. K.J. Jefferson, Raheem Sanders, no defense, though. So W there. The home team has lost the last three, which is interesting. And LSU's at home, but I don't care about that trend. Give me the W there. Then you go on the road to play Mississippi, another game where the numbers don't favor you. The away team just 2-8 and eight in this series in the last 10 games, 1-9 and nine against the spread. But I think you win. Ole Miss's defense isn't projected to be good. They're supposed to allow about 27 points per game. LSU's defense, 21 points per game. Two good offenses. I'm siding with a team with a better defense, at least from a projected standpoint. If Ole Miss is going to win a game, it's going to be with their offense. I'm not a believer in that offense this year, though. I'm more of a believer in what LSU could do with Jaden Daniels in year two. So give me the win there for LSU. Then back on the road a week later against Missouri, a team that I think will pull an upset this year but not against LSU. W for the Tigers. They write the pass wrong from 2020 when Mizzou won at home there in uh, that COVID season. Now we get into the second half of the season. Got Auburn at home. They're coming off a bye. The away team has won three of the last five. 
LSU won last year on the road. A game I watched recently where Auburn was up 17-0. And if anybody else is coaching that team, not Brian Harson, they win that game. Like, Auburn should have won that game. But LSU comes back and wins. They scored three straight touchdowns, 21-17. Hugh Freeze in there now. Mr. Offense from Liberty, former Ole Miss coach. I think Auburn's going to pull an upset this year too, but not in this game. Again, I like the team with the better defense. Auburn not supposed to have a good defense, and I think they're really going to turn it up towards the end of the season. they got a new quarterback, a lot of new pieces. They do have a good defense, but from a points-per-game standpoint, LSU is like eight points better, it says. Phil Steele says. So, I think you win that game, and it's at home, so that helps too. Of course, playing in Death Valley. <laughs> then uh, the next week, home game against Army. They run that triple option. First meeting since 1931. I remember that game. It's a great one. Uh, anyways, Brian Kelly, though, 2-0 and against Army in his career. So I think he's going to have his team ready for this triple option. I know it's different than what they see every week. I think they're going to be uh, well prepared. Then they got a bye week right after. So we head into the bye. Let me count out the Ws here. Should be 7-1. and one. Four games left. Big four-game stretch. Starts with Alabama. Big one. They're coming off a bye as well. Two and two since 2018 in this series. One last year, of course, exhilarating two-point conversion. I think you win this game. I think you go to Alabama and win the football game. I don't think their offense has enough firepower this year. Saban's going to try to run the clock, run the football a lot, and kind of Manage games. That's not going to work against this explosive offense, though. I don't believe in any of the three quarterbacks that are battling for that job or the new OC, Tommy Reese. They got a great defense. If, if Alabama wins this game, it's going to be because of that defense. They're stacked everywhere. But I think LSU just has more points capable from its offense than Bama does. And Brian Kelly got the job done in year one, too. So, give me LSU there. Florida, Georgia State, win-win. LSU's won four straight against Florida. If you like betting, I'd probably bet the over because the over has been very popular in this matchup in the past. And first meeting ever against Georgia State, that should be a win. All right, here we go. 10-1 LSU against 10-1 Texas A&M. Winner wins the SEC West. Thanksgiving weekend right here in Baton Rouge. Winner to the SEC title. A&M won last year. A game that LSU, nobody really knows what happened. They just laid an egg. First time they really laid an egg all year last year. I think they come back with a vengeance. They use the home crowd. And by game 12, this offense is buzzing. The defense is buzzing. Hopefully they can avoid some injury problems. And I think LSU beats Texas A&M to finish the regular season. 11-1. Undefeated in SEC play. Going to the SEC title against, I think, Georgia. I don't think they'll win that game, but you're right there with a chance to make the college football playoff, the four-team field. That Florida State loss might hurt you in terms of that, but that's my prediction. 11-1, 8-0 in the SEC, to the SEC title, right there in terms of making the field of four for the college football playoff. Let me know what your prediction is in the comment section below. Tell me which games I'm wrong about, which games I'm right about, if any. I'd be curious to know. And hopefully, this doesn't backfire. So there we go. It's on the record. 11-1 LSU Tigers in 2023.